Hello collectors and welcome back to another review. Today we have the Micro Galaxy Squadron's Y-Wing. Uh, this is definitely one I've been super excited about, so let's go ahead and get this open. And this actually has quite a few pieces here uh, to assemble. So first let's start with the body of the Y-Wing. Just by looking at it, you can tell there is a ton of detail on this thing. It is insane on the body with the weathering and everything. And here are the engines, and the engines here also have a lot of detail with weathering, and they also have the landing gear put on. And we can just attach those by sliding them. They don't really lock into place though, but they do stay on. And the turret here on top moves slightly to the left and to the right, so it is articulated. And let's go ahead and take a look at the landing gear. So they just kind of flip out of the engines there, and there's one under the cockpit of the ship. And let's take a look at the figures. So first we have the pilot here, John Vander, which I believe is Gold Leader. And R2BHD, which is a completely unique droid um, to this set, uh, being all gray. And the dome is a chrome paint, which I really like. And we can go ahead and put the droid into the droid socket. And the cockpit actually opens from the side and we can slide the pilot inside, snap that back on, and it is ready to go. And also on the bottom of the head, uh, there are these missiles. Uh, they do come out, but I don't know if they're supposed to. Uh, be careful with those, you might lose them. Yeah, I mean, I absolutely love this. This is probably one of my favorite Micro Galaxy Squadrons um, ships just due to the weathering and the detail. It's, it's awesome. And stay tuned for the next review where I review the new vulture droid. And I also got a mystery pack with that, but, um, tell me what you guys think below and we'll see you in the next one.